Hi, this is a quick demo developed by the OPNFE VNF Event Stream Project running on the OPNFE Colorado release. You can learn more about OPNFE at its website, opnfe.org, and on its wiki, wiki.opnfe.org, where you'll also find the VNF Event Stream Project homepage. The focus of the VEST project is to promote adoption of a unified data model for streaming telemetry from physical or virtual network infrastructure and applications. This unified model and the agent libraries that enable it to be integrated into platforms and applications are intended to dramatically reduce the cost of integrating new virtual network functions with service assurance systems in NFV service environments. You can read more about the rationale for the VEST project in the presentations available on the OPNFV wiki at the VEST project pages. For this demo, I'm using the OPNFE Colorado release as deployed by the MOS Juju based Joid installer in a three node non HA configuration. One node is the jump host from which I deployed the VHello VEST Tosca blueprint using OpenStack Tacker as the VNF manager, and two other nodes are the controller node for OpenStack and Open Daylight and the compute host node. Details are on the VHello VEST demo page on the OPNFE wiki. The demo illustrates the integration of the VEST agent library in a CollectD plugin written in Python and a VEST demo agent written in C. All the code you see operating here is open source and will be available through the OPNFE Git repos or referenced open source projects. I'm using the CollectD plugin developed by Intel for this demo and the VEST demo agent developed by AT&T. The CollectD plugin runs on the single bare metal compute host and in each of three VMs running on it. The VEST demo agent also runs in each of the VMs. The three VMs provide the monitored VNF component functions in this demo, including an IP tables based load balancer and two VMs running a web server based upon Nginx. A fourth VM provides the VEST monitor at which in this early demo development stage provides a terminal view of the VEST events as sent by the VEST agents and received at the monitor. Some minimal processing is done at the events to track key telemetry values related to the test scenarios covered in the demo. Later, we will integrate the VEST event data into a full featured dashboard, such as Kafana. The CollectD agent for this demo reports on a wide variety of host and guest VM performance data using other CollectD plugins and reports the data in the VEST JSON message format. The VEST-C agent for this demo reports on application statistics such as transactions per second at the web server instances and delivers the reports in the same format. All the agents send regular heartbeat reports so the collector knows they're in good health. Both the Python and C agent libraries have the ability to generate all the defined VEST events. At this point, the demo is already running, having been deployed earlier using Tacker. The scripts and Tosca-based blueprint that were used to deploy the demo are available on the OPNFE VEST Git repo. The deployment is kicked off by a bash script called VHello VEST, and the entire deployment process is automated. You can see the resulting topology through the OpenStack Horizon dashboard, including the four VMs and the internal and external networks to which they're attached. The deployment is started by cloning the VEST repo on the Joy jump host and executing the VHello VEST script with the setup option, which installs Tacker and creates the basic network environment for the demo. Running the VHello VEST script again with the start option will deploy the blueprint using Tacker as a VNF manager to create the VMs, etc. When the deployment is complete, you'll see a terminal that remains open and presents the monitor process output. You'll see a fast scrolling display of JSON data for each event, plus an area at the bottom of the screen which is refreshed upon each event and provides summary of key data sent by the agents for each monitored source. The monitor can be stopped by Control C and restarted through a VHello VEST command option. You'll see that as events are received from the agents for the various sources, the summary is built up at the bottom of the screen. At this time, you can see two key sets of monitored data, CPU usage and application transaction per second, or TPS. 
There are many, many other parameters that are being received and could be monitored, but this is only an early demo, and the main focus is to show how simple it can be to integrate existing monitoring agents such as CollectD that can deliver a rich set of telemetry data via the VES format event stream. I have two test scenarios that illustrate how the agents will report on observed events at the hosts and VMs. The first is the invocation of traffic to the load balancer and web servers, which you can see has already started. When I start the traffic, you see the TPS values of the web servers start changing. The TPS value for the IP table's load balancer is not changing because we haven't developed a plugin for it. The second test scenario is to cause a fault that is reported and when cleared is updated. I did that through the same VHello VEST script with the test pause option indicating which VNF component to pause by the VDU, in this case VDU1. The VDU is the virtual deployment unit for a VNF component which is provided by one of the VMs. In this case I'm actually pausing the Docker container in which the web server is running. You'll see the state change to stopped and after a minute, about a minute change back to started. In the process, if it's working as it should, you would see the TPS for VDU1 go to zero and the TPS for VDU2 take up the slack. But in this case, the IP table's load balancer isn't yet fully configured for that. So you just see VDU1 TPS go to zero and then back up when the Docker container is restarted. And there it goes. Taking a look at the monitor data from an earlier run, you can see that the events are being output to the terminal screen in JSON format as received. The events in this demo include regular heartbeat messages from each agent, virtual function scaling related messages, which provide detailed telemetry data and fault reports. This is a summary of the transactions per second, which at this time were zero from the web server. And then for the CollectD agent, you see a very, very detailed list of telemetry data. And also fault reports. In this case, a fault report, for example, when the VM was stopped. and then it was when it was restarted. As mentioned, as soon as possible, we'll update the demo to show integration with a real telemetry and monitoring dashboard such as Kafana. Stay tuned for that. So what does it take to generate the messages? Well, assuming that the agent has been designed to observe the related events and data, for example, through other CollectD plugins, creation of the event reports is pretty easy. As shown in this snip from the VEST CollectD plugin, a measurements for VF scaling event is created by populating the message fields for a newly created measurement object. The values from the CollectD plugins, for example, CPU aggregation, are simply copied into the related field in the VEST measurement object and the message is subsequently sent. Similarly, for the VEST C agent, library functions enable you to populate the event fields as in this fault report example. The VEST agent design includes support for a ring buffer that ensures no loss of events, for example, if connectivity with the collector is interrupted. The design also supports the batching of events in a single report, which can help reduce connection establishment overhead. I hope this demo was useful to you as, as an introduction to the purpose and implementation of the OpenAV VEST project. It's just getting kicked off the ground and there are many opportunities for collaboration on important aspects as described in the OpenAV wiki. Feel free to reach out to us on the OpenAV Tech Discuss mailing list, which you can subscribe to at lists.opnfv.org. And thanks for watching.